Geek Lab and today uh, we're going to take uh, my 2009 iMac which I got for a princely sum of £30 and we've been doing various things with it in videos such as removing its firmware password we updated it to our Capitan and this time we're going to show you how to upgrade this unsupported Mac to Mojave now there are a, uh, a few steps to this and a few things you're going to have to be very careful with. So the first thing you need to do with these older iMacs is open about this Mac. And you'll see uh, this is running on OS, Al Cap OS X Al Capitan. It is a 2.66 GHz Intel Core 2 Duo. It's only got 4 GB of memory. And an NVIDIA GeForce 9400. 256 megabyte card so first of all you need to go to this website I have here which is by DOS dude and it says patch a tool for unsupported Macs what you need to do is on the about Mac is go to a system report and that will bring up your hardware and you can see here the model identifier is iMac 9.1 so what you need to do first of all is check against the list he has there on his website and make sure that your Mac is on the supported Macs that this uh, will patch so mine's there iMac 9.1 once you've done that there are other issues now it's there's a list of machines that are not supported, so make sure you go through that and just double check. Uh, also down here, there are known issues, uh, sometimes with the Wi-Fi, sometimes with the graphics cards. You will need to make sure you, you read through that and ensure that your system uh, does match this or else you are going to have issues. For example, the graphics card you can go through this list here and check against the identifier on your graphics card. So, for, sorry, Wi Fi. This is Wi Fi, not graphics. Go through here, check this number here, the card type. Make sure your card type is not on the list of ones that don't work, or else your Wi Fi is going to cut out. So I've already been through that, I've done all that. So once you are <clears throat> sure that your system is going to work with the patcher, you need to download the patch, which is available on that website too. I'll provide you a link to the website now, direct link to the patch. So all you need to do is download the patch. Once you get the DMG, double click it and it will verify and open there you go it will open the patcher i already have here so there we go i'll open that and i'll show you the next step now once it's verified you may have to uh, ver uh, authenticate it to allow it to open but if you've tried to install Mojave from the App Store, you'll know that it won't let you download it. So how are you going to get your hands on a copy of Mojave? Well, this tool allows you to do just that. If you just go to Tools, you can download, click that one, you can download macOS Mojave directly using this tool. Which is nice, I have already done that. It's uh, just over 6 gigabytes, so it's going to take a while. Right, while that is downloading, that will give you time to do something else you need to do. You'll also need a 16 gigabyte at least, uh, USB stick. And what we're going to do is use Disk Utility doing, to format it. So, we've got the sun disk there, we can erase it. And it needs to be formatted as OSS, OSX Extended Journaled. And if we just erase that. That will do its stuff and we'll have the stick ready for the uh, patcher to write it to it so there we go it is done that didn't take long 
and we can see there it's done so right once that's done we need to change the destination drive to the one we just formatted we need to use this to find our copy of Mojave wherever you downloaded it to I downloaded it to the desktop success verified as install Mac OS Mojave and then we press start operation and that will now create doink we need to verify ourselves and that will now create our bootable drive with the operating system on that's going to take a while so I'll be right back. Okay, the USB boot disk has been created, so next thing we need to do is uh, shut down the Mac, and then as we reboot it, whoop, ding, ding, ding. as we reboot it, hold down the command key so we can select the boot drive. I'll be back once that's at that stage. Right, uh, that's all done. Let's press the power and hold down the option button at the same time and it should boot and allow us to boot off of the USB. Let's see if that works. Dum -dum 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 -dum. Uh -huh. There it is. Now the first time I tried this I went to this stage, uh, clicked on it and get a cross said no. It appeared that this didn't write correctly so second time done it again it's taken a lot longer it's gone through a lot more processes so it seems to have worked and i've called it mac os this time just for the hell of it uh, let's have a look will that work oh yes got an apple symbol this is promising all right so it looks like it's doing it so this is likely going to take quite a while so i'll be back when something interesting happens Okay, we are starting to install. So, right at this point, I need to format the hard drive. So, get the disk utility. That's my hard drive there. Now, erase. Right, and uh, we're going to erase that. Now it says on the website, make sure a GUID is uh, selected if it's an entire format, an entire hard drive. Uh, that option hasn't appeared. Now you can use, if your system already supported it, APFS. This can be converted to APFS, but uh, it's just simpler. Keep it like this. So that's what we're going to go with. Uh, erase. This is a scary bit because now my operating system and everything is being deleted. Can't go back now. There we go. And now that's done. We can go there. Continue. Uh, continue. And hopefully, this will work. We'll be back in a few moments. Well, in quite a while probably. And that's done. Wish me luck. Bye. We now need to use this Mac Post install. Uh, choose your Mac model. Uh, this is a 9.1. And it will patch all this stuff in. So please select your volume. Sorry. Right. Uh, it is RGVX patch. Powering down. Crossing fingers and toes and everything. Oh, we've got a beep. Oh. Oh, that's a sexy sound. Oh, what's this? I'm gonna leave that to run. It's obviously building itself, doing stuff. Oh, there we go. Whew. Okay, it's rebooted. Uh, welcome. And appears. Uh, United Kingdom appears to be happy. So so far, ABC quits. Quitty, sure. ABC them. Uh, Wi-Fi. Okay, I need to sky. I think it's found it. 
Ooh. Look at the networks. Right, I'm gonna have to uh, go and find the network pass key and uh, write that down and put that in. I'll be right back. Okay, we're past that and we're choosing a light or dark menu. That's just this first time we use this. I'm gonna go for the dark. Yes. Setting up your Mac. So it looks like everything's working. Wi Fi is working, which was the main concern. Uh, Oh, you got a noisy car. So, back in a few moments. Okay, uh, once you booted, it's going to, uh, if you've installed the patch updater, it's going to ask you to install there. Installing launch of patch. Okay, I need to put my password in. There we go. Ta da! Now, I can restart now. Auto updates. Uh, there was a note on the website here that 10.14.1 may crash the system make it unbootable so if you're going to do an update to 10.4.1 you need to uh, uh, create or use the USB boot drive that we've already created there boot off that and then use that to install the updates to the drive on the system so boot off the USB drive fully and then install the updates to the drive on the system uh, other than that yes bit of an adventure here let's just see it fully booted and just see that the internet works all right and here she is a 2009 iMac running the latest version of Mojave so I've changed to the lighter settings here because uh, it's going to be too dark. But let's just, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to change all this as well because that's a bit dark for my tastes. Uh, let's fire up Safari and just check the internet. It's all good. Uh, YouTube. YouTube. Can't type. Seems to be working fine. And... Let's just go with one of my videos so I don't get any trouble. Well, that'll do. That'll do. Right, go. Full screen. Whack it up. See how she does. There you go. In 1080p. Running absolutely fan dabby dozy. Right, hello and welcome to the Geek Lab. And, uh, so there we go. Excellent. 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 We've managed to uh, update an unsupported iMac to Mojave. So if you enjoy videos like this, then if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you do actually get notified when we make videos. If you like uh, mine adventures and caving videos too, then uh, please consider subscribing. You can join us on Facebook and Twitter. You'll have a group on there. And if you really like the channel, you can support us through Patreon. So, there we go. Thanks very much for watching. All relevant links for updating and the group and everything down, down below. So, thank you all. Bye, bye. You need to quit being dirty. You're a dirty boy. <laughs>